In 1993, John Venables and Robert Thompson became the youngest convicted murderers in British history. They were only 10 years old. One afternoon they skipped school together and went to a shopping mall when they kidnapped a two-year-old boy named James Bolger. They brutally tortured him and beat him to death and threw him on a railroad track to try and make his murder look like an accident. Two days later his body was found and was so disfigured that the autopsy couldn't even reveal his actual cause of death. This happened at the New Strand Shopping Center in Boodle, England. Authorities initially thought the boy had been abducted by an adult, but shocking camera footage revealed the two kids taking him. Both boys were arrested. The two boys splashed blue paint into Bulger's eyes, then beat him with bricks and stones and kicked his body several times. They even put batteries in his mouth and beat him over the head with a 22-pound iron bar before throwing him on the railroad tracks. When authorities came to both boys' homes, they found the same blue paint on their jacket and blood on their shoes. Robert Thompson and John Venables were arrested on February 18, 1993, less than a week after the murder. Both boys were released at age 18 in 2001. Since being released, Thompson never got in any more trouble. However, Venables has been in prison on multiple different occasions since getting out. In 2010, he was imprisoned for possessing images of child abuse. He was arrested again in 2017 for the same crime. In 2018, he was sentenced to 40 months for possessing more than 1,000 child abuse images and a pedophile manual. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.